Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm going to talk about site to site VPN. So, I have a video on my channel about GRE tunnel with RPSEC protocol. So, on that video, we've learned that how to run uh, IPsec and GRE. So, uh, first, we the GRE tunnel and then secure that with the IPsec protocol. So, on that uh, scenario, we needed a profile for that and uh, run everything based on that profile but here for VPN what do we need with an access list so let's see the configurations I set up everything I mean they are connected to each other via OSPF and this is imagine a cloud of networks and I just add a router here as the internet so they are connected to each other and everything is good so let's see the first step as they are connected to each other, we should be able to ping from PC1 to PC2. So let's set the IP address to that 10.1.1.1.10 slash 24 with the gateway of 10.1.1 and PC2. We have IP address, oops, IP 20.1.1.10. 20 slash 24 20.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and if everything uh, works correctly we should be able to ping 20.1.1.20 yeah so it works from that PC 10.1.1.10 we can ping 20.1.1.20 so all of them are connected to each other think of that situation you're gonna send lots of private data from your network to the other network maybe both of them are your companies are branches or maybe they're just two friends uh, you know what's the point the point is that uh, sometimes you do not like to send your data in a way everyone can uh, has can have access to that what should you do the point is that you do need to secure your data how with the VPN so let's go to the R1 and start that the initial steps are exactly the same with uh, what we've done on that video so we need a crypto actually we should be in global config mode so we need a crypto IS KMP policy and let's pick a number for priority just 10 what are the options one by one authentication so authentication uh, I would like to choose a pressure key and I will assign a key for that I, I would like to say okay this is the key that I want to use pressure key and then after that we have encryption choosing MD5 see the option I'm sorry TDS encryption group a helmet group Number two, let's see the options for group. Yeah, group. Different Hellman groups. And I've chosen this one. And what else? Hash MD5. And let's choose a lifetime for that. And I'm gonna go for maximum. So that's it. It is done. So far everything is done and then go to the crypto ISKMP last time we've chosen policy and now uh, what do we need in the policy uh, we set that we need a pre-share key so what is the key now now we should assign that key so the key what is the key maybe Cisco and uh, what else we should come up with an address as we are here and we would like to secure our channel our path whatever you call it with the vpn we should mention this interface as the address of the key so we are telling to that router the key to that interface to go inside that or the key that this interface should know in order for you to uh trust that network is this so this is the concept of that key we are telling the router one this interface should know that key uh to trust 
or to be trustable, something like that. So anyway, the address would be, what was the address? 172.16.22.1 and I think uh, it's clear yeah that's it done so let's continue let's go for the IP access it's the difference between uh, that video and this video IP access list extended let's choose a name for that let's say VPN so permit 10.1.1.1.0000255 and what is the other network 20.1.1.0000255 is everything correct oops i missed ip permit ip so permit ip so this is my access list and there is nothing more to do with the access list so crypto IPsec transform set maybe trans pick a name for that and again for the transform we do need what we do need uh, some authentication methods so this is that again nothing more just we've set these and go exit so crypto map now pick a name for the crypto map, I would I don't know, come up with mining. Choose a number for that sequence to insert into crypto key map entry. So I would say 10 and after that IP sec ISKMP. The protocol that we were working on that one and it is saying you should set a peer for that. So okay, I would say set here. And again, the same peer would be this interface uh, 172 16. Uh, 22. That one, correct? 172.22. Right? It is very important when you are putting or inserting these numbers, and uh, maybe just small mistakes, I don't know, can ruin everything, and troubleshooting will be. Pretty difficult for you. So set peer and set transform set was trans. And I think it is finished, nothing more. But let's check the name. Yeah, it was trans. It was Cisco, the crypto Mac key was Cisco, it was trans, and the other one was my name. So everything is done, everything is correct. And finally, I would say match address the VPN. The match address is the VPN. And we go to the interface of phase zero zero. And we say what? We say crypto map. This is the name. And we should spell. Yep, there is a like for that. So from this time onwards, this PC cannot ping. Why? Because at the other side, there is a uh, security protocol or mechanism. So that one cannot go here. Why? Because half of the channel, half of the path is encrypted and half is not yet. We should do exactly the same procedure on our tool. So let's review them and do them again one by one. Crypto, person was crypto SKMP, policy, pick a number 10. They should be the same. So encryption was pre shared. Encryption was what are the options? 3 up, sorry. 3DS, hash was MD, MD5. Authentication was pre shared key. Group was Helen group was number two and lifetime was the maximum number six two exit so go to the crypto ISKMP key and I've chosen the key that as Cisco and the address would be this address. What is the address? 172.16.21.1 
So IP access, IP access list extended VPN permit IP. So from that side, 20.1.1.0000 255 to 10.1.1.1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 255 so they are connected good sit crypto ipsec transform set trans uh esp 3ds esp and 5 and sit so crypto map which you name i mean and IP sec is KMP. Set the peer for that, and the peer is this IP address 172.16.21.1. Set the transfer set as trans and match address VPN. Let's go to the interface FA00. And crypto map. I mean, if I do everything right, it should work. So I think I'm sure I've done everything correctly. So now maybe do the milestone of that video. We should wait for the authentication. And there you go. Yeah, it works. So this is the old concept. If we just let me write that on both routers. If we just uh, do a show run, we'll see that. What do we have here? Look, crypto T, crypto ISKMP policy number is 10. The encryption is this hash is MD5. Uh, authentication is Pusher Key, Hellman Group. Look, the key is Cisco address, and the transform set is something like this. And yep, this is everything. And these are my look crypto map, I mean. And also, the thing is signed here. We can see everything. Also, we can do what if you want to do some service password encryption. If you type that and again do show run, what else can see? Uh, this is the thing which is very important, and some people will make a mistake. Look, uh, the key which is Cisco will not change with that command. For example, if you make it enable password, something like one two three, and do a show run. Without service password encryption, the enable password is reachable, and you can see that. But uh, let me do that again. Do show run. But you know, with that command, service password encryption. Look, you cannot see the enable password. If we uh, type no service password encryption, you can see one, two, three here. But with service password encryption, all of the passwords, like uh, I don't know your tell that password like your enable password all of the passwords are reachable without service password encryption and with that command uh you can no one can see them just only the admin of the system will know that but this point uh sometimes is uh you know because of the confusion because people will think this key is the same with that password and service password encryption command can encrypt that one again and uh, yeah i would like to show that thing to you so these are all of the concepts of vpn and encryption from that type anyway i hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed uh show a thumbs up hit on the like button if not thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and bye everyone take care stay safe